last one was in 2010. It's not exactly clockwork, but this town sees way more altered world events than most. We knew it was just a matter of time before the lake acted up again. After the AWE in 2010, the FBC's research department set up a facility, the Lake House, to study the threshold in Cauldron Lake, find better ways to contain the entity inside. And with tax dollars, it worked. When we detected a spike in paranatural activity at Cauldron Lake, before I even knew you were on this case saga, the Lake House was my first stop. I was shorthanded, hoped they could spare some help, maybe give us some intel on the situation. If I had any clue what was waiting for us in there, Saga, I just kept on driving. This is Agent Kieran Estevez responding to an AWE alert in the vicinity. I need to speak with the Marmonts. So much for the welcome wagon. You all set up the perimeter. We're on the threshold's doorstep, so keep your eyes peeled. Yes, ma'am. This shouldn't take long, okay? You see anything? Radio me. The lake house was run by the research department. Research and investigations don't really see eye to eye. What they call science I call a violation of bureau protocol and human decency. Right. Classic interdepartmental drama, your FBI saga, you know how I don't know how to do that. Well, in retrospect, my low opinion of the research department may have clouded my judgment. No, I know how to get the that's from what we about One time you got one close, I have unlimited ammo and I can't. Hello. Okay. Hello? Agent Kieran Estevez, investigations department. No one wants to check the individual carrying a firearm Hello. into a restricted and government to facility. Exciting day here at no? the Lake House. As I'm sure you know, I am Dr. Jules Marmont, and this is my wife. Dr. Diana Marmont. And together and we, we are, are the heads, heads of, of research, research at, at this facility. This facility. <laughs> we want to thank you all for helping us break new ground in our study of Cauldron Lake. That's right, Jules. But don't let our exciting work in threshold regulation and Dimensional coupling keep you from observing the proper safety protocols. You said it, Diana. We run a tight ship here at the lake house. So always remember the three S's safety, security, 
and censorship. It's a C. It's a C. <laughs> what? That is the joke, Diana. Well, it's a stupid, f wonderful joke, Jules. We'll see you down there. Yeah, that seems healthy. Dr. Marmont's not here. Nobody is? I'll have to check downstairs. You must all be working on the lower levels. I'll need to head down. This should come in handy. An experiment that bodes well. That's handy. As soon as I got in that elevator, my bad news detector started going nuts. Estevesta team, something's going on in the lake house. I want all nearby agents to- oh, shit. Oh, shit. was the Marmont's problem. Our mission was outside. <sighs> okay, okay, priority one, get the lights on. Standing around in the dark near Cauldron Lake, they're not smart. I need to get back to the elevator. That is not a regulation FBC weapon. things lighter. <sighs> the way I saw it, there was only one way out. Identify the source of the event and contain or eliminate it. Now, good news, I just had to keep going down. Bad news, the elevator liked to disappear. At least the 
elevator's back. And with no unlimited ammo, ammo and health, I you be a piece of cake. If you can understand me, I am an agent of the Federal Bureau of Control. I can assist you if you take no hostile action against me or any action that can be perceived as hostile. What the fuck were those things? <sighs> okay, deep breaths. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you never really get used to the shit you see in this job, but you can learn techniques to adjust, to function. Take six deep breaths, then get to work. Find the source, collapse the threshold. Sir, please hold. Please hold. Is that? If you can understand me, I'm an agent of the Federal Bureau of Control. I can assist you if you take no hostile action against me or any action that can be perceived as hostile. Do you understand? <laughs> So what kind of entity are you? You can speak. That means you probably imprinted on a person or retained some of your former self's information. Previously human, maybe. Okay, I can remember that. I just had an unpleasant encounter with some other painted individuals. Any relation? What does that mean? Paint, no brush, a self portrait! Okay, hey, hey, calm down! Fire in his eyes and hands and bones! You need to cease all hostility right now! <laughs> no. Uh. Bad news? That thing is really pissed off. Good news. It didn't try to kill me. Okay, baby steps. Angry living paintings are not typically on the Cauldron Lake bingo card. Something different was happening at the lake house and I couldn't let it escape. Bright Falls didn't need this particular cherry on its already shitty Sunday. Sub-level three. 
This isn't the floor I wanted. Fucking elevator. Typewriters. Oh, please don't let this be what I think it is. As you know by now, typewriters and cauldron knife do not mix. And a room full of them all clacking away. 100% bad news. Say no to extra firepower. <coughs> Back where I started. Spatial recurrence is contrived. Usually observed the law of three. Staff down there has been corrupted. Loop three should be the last one. I keep coming back to this page. I keep coming back to this page. What happened to you? Did the people here do this to you? Mamans! Counting his head!
You said marmots before. Do they do this? Where are they now? Tell me where they are. Christ. It's fixated on the marmots. What did they do? Denied. Ugh, this key card isn't gonna cut it. A threshold is the connection between a foreign reality and our own. Now, they all have their own rules, strange as they are. But the further down I went, the more chaotic this one got. Clearly, this was the Cauldron Lake threshold, but something was wrong. Well, more wrong than usual.
level three. Please remain sub-level 2. Level 1 locked down in effect. Please remain calm. Shaded. Hope that glass is thick. I need help.
My team was on sublevel one. And you knew they were in danger. Marmots turned innocent people into tools using the FBC's authority. They thought they were untouchable out here, hidden away in the woods? No. Actions have consequences. And I'm the consequences. <laughs> Bastard. Jules Marmont killed my team. He's taken by the shadow. I should get that gun while I'm up here. Get me down to sub level five. And this should get me past any other problems.
The shadow had changed Jules Marmont into a hostile, paranatural entity. That made everything simpler. No arrest, no paperwork. I could put him down like the monster he was. Sir, please hold. This is not level four. The Marmonts were holding a painter here. Rudolf Lane. Does that ring a bell? The shame of a man! I think you are, or were, Rudolph Lane. Himself! A self-portrait! Make them see! Like I might be able to help you, but I need information, cooperation. No brush! Just himself! <laughs> Lane was dying, both murderer and victim. Red hues ran down his hands. Was it scarlet or cadmium? Too vivid to be maroon. Names don't matter, he decided. Color was pure, inspiring. For the first time in years, he wanted to paint a self-portrait to say goodbye. No. To make them remember. To make them see what they did. He slapped his hands against the wall to steady himself. He began from there. No brush. Just himself. The strokes were crude. Violent. The pain, misery, and hate he'd endured there. The fire in his eyes and hands and bones all spread into the shape of a man. It was quick. Natural. Like a heart attack. He slumped down to the floor, smiling at the anger he left smeared across the wall. Come <laughs> 
on. tomorrow. I can't find the details anywhere. This doesn't look like Lane's style. That bastard is hiding them. All those years he steals credit from my ideas and my work and now he's scared of being plagiarized? Oh, that is really fucking rich, Jules. Hello, reportedly misplaced the manuscript pages I need for my work. Suddenly, the exact pages I need for reference have just vanished. If you find one, Times. impeding critical bureau research. I mean, if he can do that. The Ocean View Motel is a dimensional intersection. The doors from the lobby can lead anywhere. But I didn't end up in the lobby this time, which was definitely unusual. Panopticon? But the Panopticon is a headquarters. Yeah. I'm Agent Kieran Estevez, Federal Bureau of Control. Identify yourself. I'm... It's quiet. Who are you? It's been a long time since I've seen anyone. There's a sign over there for the Panopticon. The Panopticon's only in New York, in HQ. Is this the oldest house? I think that's where I am. So you are inside the oldest house. Is anyone else alive? I can't. It's a waste of time. Hey, this is important. FBC headquarters went dark four years ago. What exactly happened in there? We were attacked. No, no, not again. Not yet. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, stay with me. Stay with me. Okay. Why 
What attacked the oldest house? I need to know. Something's changing. Outside. Can you feel it? I can hear it. It's getting worse. You can't stay, can you? Hold on. That's so well I need to know if I can... <laughs> Tell Jesse I tried. I really did. Okay, you booked the lab. Some big experiment tomorrow. I can't yeah, find the details anywhere. That bastard is hiding them. All those years, he steals credit from my ideas and my work, and now he's scared of being plagiarized? <laughs> that is really fucking rich, Jules. Oh, and he's reportedly misplaced the manuscript pages I need for my work. Suddenly, the exact pages that I need for reference have just vanished. had opened the door into Cauldron Lake's threshold. It was forced, it was unstable. Shutting the experiment down was the only option. Agent this stood in the forest just outside of Bright Falls. She watched her team detain Alan Wake and Ilmo Cosmo, something that meant the black SUVs. 
She realized this was the moment Wake had been writing in the vision she had seen. The story was coming true. She pushed the thought out of her head. It had been a good tip, a way to find Wake. Nothing more. Alan Wake! After the threshold event collapsed, I was back at Cauldron Lake. But for a moment, I was somewhere else. I saw Alan Wake there. He was writing about me finding him in Bright Falls, in the woods. It was a good tip. I called the surviving members of my team, and I told them to meet me there. You know, these cases, they never get less ambiguous or easier. This one, this, this was tough. Because protocol says entities like the Taken are monsters, threats. But the Marmots were monsters way before the Shadow got to them. So at the end of the day, 